we're talking about people who are some of our greatest artists or directors. You know right. what I mean? They and lots of people they try on some level. Um, they try on some level, but they just not everybody is Spike Lee. Right. You know what I mean? Um, not everybody is Francis Coppola, or you know, it's it's like it it it. People, people. Sometimes people make things, and they actually are slow. You yes. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Work. You're like, yeah. it's, it misses. Yeah, it, it's like it's like in Spinal Tap when they're like, it's a it's a fine line between stupid and clever. You know, no, it's a fine line between clever and stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's. Um, I think people try, but uh, I d- I think I think that uh, there are some people who really do think Jaws had a big effect on movies because it it was it was like the first true blockbuster right and i don't know you know what actually though i'm 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 wrong i i think that what happens more often than not is adult people get the jobs at the big companies that make the decisions about what to make right and at a certain point they sort of age out they start to age out and they don't actually have any idea what what the vibe is they don't know what to make for the coming wave of younger people and so these little windows open up now and then where in that era they needed there was they needed new people they needed like you know George Lucas making American graffiti nobody thought that movie was going to be a hit nobody you know um they they open up they say we don't know what to do do something different and a couple of new voices like come in and they make things that are are really different, you know. But the idea that that was only then, like, there's a whole book right now about 1999. You know, there's this book that came out about how 1999 was one of those years where because the studios had kind of lost their sense of exactly what to do and Miramax was making a shit ton of money on – on auteur-driven movies made for low cost, and the studios all went and set up little mini Miramaxes, right? And the result was that, like in that year, you had like, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson, Wes Anderson, Alexander Payne, Spike Jones, David O. Russell, Fincher, the Wachowskis, like an unbelievable array of directors made really, really memorable films in that year. And I think it was because it was like another one of those moments. Like we 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 don't know what to we don't know what to do. We're just going to have to like close our eyes and go. You kids, you kids, figure it out. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, that's the, the thing about films. It seems to me that it's such a collaborative effort. And when you have so many moving pieces and so many people involved that have a a, and a say in the decision making process, it's got to be insanely difficult to get something out that's pure. Yes, that's true. That's true. I, Francis Coppola said that um, the best thing about making films is that they're collaborative, and the worst thing about making films is that they're collaborative. 